So what we're going to do in this example is look at the monobromination products for each of these reactions. Now the thing to consider with monobromination is that it is highly selective. The first rate limiting step of bromine is endothermic. So it will only go to the most stable position. Now when you have bromine and UV light brought together, you're going to form a radical on the molecule. And that guess where that radical is going to go? It's going to go to the most stable position. So let's just start off. We have the most stable position on this molecule is a secondary allylic. Any other position is less stable. For example, this primary allylic, it's less stable than the secondary. So our main molecule is going to look like this, and then bromine is just going to stick out off of that radical position. Same thing goes for the second molecule. The most stable position is this secondary carbon. And you're like, what about this one? It's also secondary. Don't you have two products? Well, even though these two radicals are equivalent, we have a line of symmetry. So they're exactly the same. It doesn't matter. So we're going to have just bromine sticking out off of one of them. Then on this third molecule over here, the most stable position is this tertiary allylic position. Any other position is less stable. For example, this secondary allylic is less stable. So our main product is going to look the same, except we have bromine coming off of that tertiary allylic position. Then with this decalin, this fourth molecule called decalin, we have a bunch of secondary carbons and then two tertiary carbons right there. So you're like, okay, don't we get two products? Well, then again, it is symmetrical right off that middle. So these two positions are basically equivalent. So we're only going to get is this molecule, it's the same thing. So right here, let me just draw that. This is kind of quite difficult. <laughs> and then we're just gonna have bromine coming off of one of them. So we're just gonna pick the top one. And then on this last one, then again, we have benzylic positions. So those are probably the most stable. So we have a secondary benzylic here, but then we also have another secondary benzylic here. So which one is it going to be? Is it gonna be two products? No, actually, because then again, we have a line of symmetry going down the middle. So this side right here is equivalent to this side right here. They're the same thing. If you just flip this molecule this way, you just rotate it off of that axis, you'll get the same exact molecule. So it doesn't matter. So we're just gonna pick one of them and stick with it. So we're going to redraw that benzene with all its double bonds. We have its two ethyl groups. And then we're just gonna put bromine on one of the secondary benzylic positions. So that's monobromination. Now, Monobromination, like I said, is selective and only go to the most stable position. However, monochlorination is quite different, and we will cover that in the next video. So, until then.